hello beautiful souls and welcome back or welcome if you guys are new to my channel i hope you guys are doing well i love and appreciate y'all so much my name is jazz and this is earth by this tarot this is a capricorn only channel but if you're cross watching you're very welcome here as well sit back relax take a chance smash your like button leave a comment down below we are going to get into some messages that you may need to know or be aware of for libra season just some guidance here for you capricorn so let's go ahead and jump right in angel spirits and guides i thank you so much for bringing us all together we are just wanting to circle around and grab some guidance for libra season what messages need to come through for this group of capricorns thank you so much prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus Ooh with surrender to the divine thank you so much spirit let's go ahead and get into these messages here so i'm feeling really uh called to say that a lot of you are going to be stepping into either a new purpose in your life here as it relates to a life purpose mission or path career education um or you guys are going to be um stepping into this sense of spiritual abundance right whether it's through embracing your spiritual gifts your spirituality uh religion whatever it is that makes you feel good it makes you feel whole uh, as the esoteric or the higher vibrational teachings are concerned spiritual matters i do feel like you guys are allowing yourself to surrender to the energies that you're feeling which is allowing you this sense of freedom freedom from the past right and freedom from energetic ties inner child energy familial energy that you have been going through you've seriously encountered said transformation and this is something that has shaken up your stability capricorn a lot of you have experienced this sense of stability change and you're allowing it to really flow completely through you here so this prosperity that you're experiencing is in direct line with the surrender and the freedom that you're experiencing here underneath of that was a uh, past life guides with karmic lessons and present assistance which is showing you that the spirituality this this deepening energy that we were picking up on is truly there and it's it's the lessons that you were learned that you are now free from and you're able to truly embrace and receive these blessings that spirit has for you so let's go ahead and see what wants to come through Angel spirits and guides, we do thank you so much for bringing us all together to bring forth these messages of clarity, wisdom, and guidance for the Capricorn Collective and those that are cross-watching. We love and appreciate you all so, so much. Spirit, thank you so much for the guidance and the assistance and the wisdom that you allow for me to bring forth to the Collective. What messages do you have for us today? Tell us more here with this prosperity lies ahead with surrender to the divine new moon and Taurus energy. So five of pentacles energy, the lovers, the hangman and death. Wow. I do feel like there's going to be a complete total shift that you're experiencing in your life. Just to kind of start out here, the five of pentacles and the lovers, I feel like there's this sense of drain. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like there is a choice or decision, um, something that you are involved in. Now, this, this may be something that is very unstable. It's unsustainable. Um, but it's got you at this pause. It's got you at this standstill. And it's something that doesn't bring you a sense of fulfillment. It doesn't bring you the sense of happiness. Um, it's almost like you lack wanting to have the discipline that this needs. And it doesn't mean that it didn't once bring you a sense of fulfillment or it didn't once bring you a sense of joy or happiness, but it is no longer bringing that to you. And it's Spirit's way of asking for you to kind of take a step back and make a choice or decision as, as to what you're going to do here. And a lot of this is dealing with letting go, right? The freedom, the moving on from the situation. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups to really show us and solidify the fact that you've been thinking very heavy 
on this, right? You've been dreaming about other things. You've been dreaming about the future, really kind of putting yourself there. But physically, you're still holding on to this, even though you know and you have the key to change. Show us more here, please, Spirit, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is some sort of karmic lesson that you're learning. This is about following your North Node energy for a lot of you. Yeah, we have the Six of Wands and Judgment. Um, you really are going to be successful here. It's, it's like some of you have a role to fulfill. This is a spiritual role, a spiritual role that needs to be fulfilled. Like I said earlier, and this is having to do with your life purpose, mission, path, career, education, things like that. Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, Page of Cups. Once again, it's like you know that this is time for you to kind of hang up this towel, kind of look at your awards, your medals on a certain situation. And really allow yourself to flow into this new beginning. Something that is maybe different than what you're used to. Going against what you know. Tell us more here with the Six of Wands judgment. This is bringing you a sense of success. It's not like it's saying that you will be unsuccessful here you'll be very successful and this will set your soul free set you on fire in a way putting you in the spotlight it's the sense of you embodying your creative your creative zone your pleasure eight of swords and the high priestess come on now You're on a mental lock, a mental standstill about this. Even though prosperity lies right where you know it is, this is something that you've always dreamed of. Some of you are needing to connect with animal spirits here. We'll grab a couple animal spirit cards. This is something that you've always dreamed of for a lot of you. Like your intuition is trying to help you here, but... It's like the crowding of the mind. Yeah, Page of Wands. This is definitely in a new direction, a new inspired beginning for you. Ace of Swords. I agree. I do agree. I feel like this is a truth of yours. I feel like this is... Hmm, Yeah. I feel like it's that voice inside your head that's saying, you know what to do. This is your truth. This is our truth. We've been thinking about this, holding on to this for a very long time. We know who we are. We know what we want. I've seen many things, been through many things. You've been brewing on this for a long, Capricorn, whatever this is. Yeah, you're scared. Is it's like you're scared to go. You're scared to do it. You're scared to 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 do this for yourself. There's a fear in really accepting that you have the power. You know exactly what to do. You know exactly who you are. You feel this energy brewing and burning within yourself, but there's a fear in trusting that. <clears throat> Maybe you have to say something to someone. Maybe you have to face this within yourself. Six of 
Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. For some of you, this is about facing that inner that inner child. Don't block it. Embrace it. Not realizing the potential that you have here in this situation with the prosperity as well. Let's clarify this a little bit. We're going to clarify these messages for Capricorn. Oops, oops, oops. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. What is this Five of Pentacles and the Lover's Energy? Seven of Cups. Tell us about the Five of Pentacles and the Lover's. It's something that's creating a lot of confusion in your life. Ten of Swords, it, it brings you deep anguish and you want to let go of it. But it's like the Empress. For some of you, it's like this is your baby, this is your child. Maybe literally or figuratively. This is something that you may have bought into this world, created on your own. Something that you designed. This may be a relationship, friendship. It's something that you do with love. It's something that you chose to do with love. But now you're receiving judgment on it and it's whether or not you can let it go. It's been at a standstill for a long time. It seems like the energy is over. Bringing you this complete sense of joy. Tell us about the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords here. You have the nine of coins. It's like your intuition is telling you you'll be successful. Your intuition is showing you that you will have and get what you've been needing, get what you've been looking for. If you just take the chance on this new beginning, seven of swords. But it's like hiding from yourself. Like not, not looking at yourself in the mirror as to what you need to do because of fear. This is self-deception. Tell us about the King of Swords here. <sighs> the Queen of Swords. Okay. I feel like this is just your confirmation as to what you have been saying to yourself. It's like somebody is literally giving you the confirmation as to what you've been saying to yourself to try to help you push this wheel forward and you may or may not be listening to it. And then you have the energy of the Hierophant. Yeah, I, I feel like this is something that You may be going against the conventional in order to do so, but you feel and know that this is your sense of a higher calling. Seven of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's it's like allowing yourself to be determined and ambitious enough to go after this, knowing that you will be successful and get exactly what you've been looking for. Wow. Let's close it out. We're going to close this out for Capricorn, please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter.
Closing this out, please, for Capricorn. See if blessings are showering your life. Oh my goodness. Beginning a new cycle, Capricorn. Surrendering to the journey with release control and voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Guys, this was such a beautiful message. I hope you found something insightful that it resonated or that you got confirmation. If you did, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll speak to you in the next one.